In this episode, all the myths that you will be introduced to hold the capacity to save you hundreds and thousands of dollars, if not millions, in your entire financial lifetime. So make sure that you listen to this entire episode till the end. And in today's episode, we are going to be busting five more myths. So make sure that you're ready and you heard this right. I said five more myths, which means this is the second episode. Just in case if you haven't watched the first episode of this series, I would tell you to get done with this episode and you'll find the link to the first episode of the series in the show notes. So get done with this episode and then move to the first one because all the points that I mentioned in both the episodes are not interconnected with each other, but they are myths that you're supposed to know of. By the end of this episode, you're going to have a clear idea on the whole exaggeration and mis-selling behind the words risk-free investments or stay tuned. Hello and welcome to episode five of the Paycheck to Profit podcast. Paycheck to Profit is a community for millennials and Gen Zs who wish to build a better relationship with money, achieve financial freedom through the right financial education, financial literacy and unlock the abundance in their life. I'm Manish Aouja, your host, your financial abundance coach and the founder of Paycheck to Profit. A quick reminder, this podcast is being shot in both audio and video format. So if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast application of your choice. And if you're listening to us, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of Paycheck to Profit because I keep uploading a lot of exclusive content on the YouTube channel, which does not get uploaded on podcast. And you will also obviously be able to watch this episode and all the past episodes of this podcast on YouTube as well. So with that, let me tell you the first myth that you need to break. And this is a very important one. Your cars, your jewelry, your house that you're living in are assets. This is a very big myth because they are not your assets. A simple definition of asset is an investment that generates returns that can help you get returns in form of interest, dividend, some sort of a capital appreciation growth. All the things that you buy in the form of assets, understand one simple thing. A car can improve your lifestyle. The jewelry that you own has inherent value of the gold or the diamond that you are buying, but they don't, they are not assets. They're not getting you more returns. Your car is making your life easier, but it is not generating more returns for that matter of fact, you end up putting a lot more money on its maintenance. Same is the case with the house that you're living in. Any property that you buy residential or commercial, if you put it up on rent, that generates some sort of returns for you. But your car, the house that you're living in does not get you any sort of returns. Yes, it does definitely bring with it a lot of financial, sec uh, a lot of emotional security. It also brings with it a lot of peace of mind, but it does not generate returns. Your house that you're living in is not an asset. It is a part of your lifestyle. It's a part of your net worth. Your net worth keeps growing. But you really need to understand the difference because what happens when you're going to buy a house or a car, the salesperson does not care about your financial benefit. They care about their commission. So they'll keep telling you you're investing in an asset. They'll keep using words which will hit you emotionally and you'll make a purchase which will end up costing you a lot in the long run. So please make all these lifestyle expenses on the basis of your financial capacity, whatever you can afford, you need to know more about your financial literacy to make the right and the responsible decisions. That's precisely why you're listening to this episode. The second thing that you need to understand, the second myth that needs to be busted today is that you can get the right answers or you can find all the answers to your financial questions through uh, personal finance templates that are available online. Now, let me give you a simple example. Whenever you're going, going to buy outfits, or clothes, you have two options. One, you go to the mall or a good store, buy ready-made products or ready-made apparel, and you can just start wearing them. But let's say you're going for, let's say you're getting married and you're creating an outfit or getting an outfit made for a very special day of your life, like your wedding. What are you going to do? Are you just going to step into a store, buy yourself a good tuxedo of the rack and just wear it? Or if you're a lady, you'll just go to a store and look for a particular bridal wear or some sort of a bridal gown and wear it. No, you would want to get a bespoke product created for your special day. What is more special in your life financially than your own financial freedom? All the templates give you some sort of an indication. All the templates give you some sort of an idea. But for you to achieve your financial freedom, 
your financial freedom number is dependent on your aspirations, number of people who are dependent on you, your vacations, the kind of lifestyle that you're living, the kind of vacations that you want to take, the kind of expenses that you put all through your life every month, month on month. The Everything adds up. For you to create your financial freedom clarity, you need to get educated, you need to take the responsibility and you need to create your own financial freedom plan. The first step for you to create your customized financial freedom journey is through knowledge. And let me introduce you to a free resource which is going to help you all the time, which is joining the Profit Clan. What is the Profit Clan, you may ask? It's an email service by Paycheck to Profit where you keep getting updates on new episodes like these which come up, which help you get better with your financial knowledge. And we also have another podcast called Unlock the Abundance, which talks about the emotional side of money, which again, you should definitely be a part of. You get access to freebies, you get access to free masterclasses, you get a lot of knowledge delivered to you free when you become a part of the Profit Clan. In the show notes of this episode, you will find the link to join the Profit Clan. Please join the Profit Clan because the clan literally feels incomplete without you and you will keep getting a lot of knowledge for free which will help you decide and design your own customized financial plans. The third myth that definitely needs to be broken is that you need to start investing only when you start getting comfortable managing your expenses. Whoever has told you this myth or whoever has even brought up this idea in your life that you should not start investing now, you're not even barely being able to manage your expenses. Start investing when you've reached a level of comfort please stop listening to this person. This person may have the right intentions, but they do not have the right knowledge and the knowledge that they're giving you is absolutely opposite that you need to listen to for your financial independence. You need to start investing today. Investing is a process. Investing is a journey. I want you to start investing in your future from today and you can start with as little as 1% of your overall monthly income. You need to get financially literate. You need to invest in your financial freedom journey. And first thing that you need to do is you need to start investing. You can ask me your questions in the comments below and ask me what do you want to know for me to at least point you in the right direction. But learning how to invest when you are closer to being financially independent or when you've started understanding how to manage your finances correctly or expenses correctly is a wrong idea. Please do not subscribe to that school of thought. The fourth point that you really need to understand is or the myth that really needs to be broken and more and more people need to listen to this is only business owners can achieve financial freedom. This is a big myth. This is absolute mis-selling and this is actually a trope that many people have been using to get more and more working professionals to get into the world of business without realizing the kind of challenges that business owners go through. Financially free people do not come with a stamp of being business owners. There are millions of business owners across the world who are running and managing loss making businesses without they are putting their financial freedom in jeopardy. If you are a well educated working professional who's working in an industry that you like and if you see a really good career path growth for yourself, please do not get scammed by people like these. Just focus on your profession, focus on growing your professional wealth and use that wealth in your investments. Financial freedom is all about making good decisions with your money. You need to learn how to live an independent life where your expenses are not dependent on your job or your business. It is all based on return on your investments and financial discipline. Investing your time and effort in learning what needs to be done is going to get you more results and more money rather than investing in all these ideas and myths which are going to actually make you take wrong decisions. If you are a working professional and would like me to create more content on the whole concept of financial literacy, which will help you comment the word working professionals in the comments below. If you're listening to this podcast on your podcast application of choice, you'll find the link to the YouTube video of the same episode. Go to that link and type the word working professionals so that I can actually start creating content, which is more suited towards working professionals based on the kind of comments and the feedback that I get. While you're going to the comment section, also take some time and think about a few questions or suggestions or ideas that you would want me to answer. Who knows, maybe your question that you ask me becomes the next podcast episode topic. So think about your questions and ask me your questions. But otherwise, if you don't want to think, just write the word working professionals and I'll start getting the signals. 
the fifth and the last thing that you need to understand a myth that really needs to be broken is that you should only invest in risk free options i told you about this right at the start of the episode and now is the time to break this myth investing in itself by definition involves risk so somebody who's trying to sell you a risk free investment option is again either trying to miss sell something to you or is definitely scamming you so you really need to be more mindful about this you really need to have your red flags up the moment you hear words like risk free options blanket statements never work in the world of personal finances you really need to be more responsible you really need to be more educated with regards to investment and finances investing is all about gaining knowledge and striking a balance you need to understand a few things about what exactly is your age today when do you plan to retire what kind of industry are you working in what is the average uh, retirement age in your industry how many people are dependent on you what is the nature of your business what is how do you start creating an investment portfolio and how do you know whether your investment portfolio is in good shape and you need to create a plan which has to be customized and tailor made for you i'm repeating myself but it is important for you to understand the science behind all of these myths so very quickly let me summarize and tell you about all the five points that i've mentioned in this episode your car your house the jewelry that you own are not your assets they are your lifestyle expenses and in uh, an asset always comes with a predictable return and whatever you're using is not necessarily your asset it's a part of your net worth you need to understand these definitions you can always find you can never find answers to your financial freedom through templates no that's a myth you cannot find answers through uh, templates found online on personal finance you really need to understand how to create a plan for yourself third uh, you the myth that is going around is you should only start investing when you learn how to manage your expenses wrong i wrong answer you really need to start investing today start with as little as 1% of your monthly income for all i know but start investing today fourth only business owners achieve financial freedom big myth everybody can achieve financial freedom in fact everybody must achieve financial freedom to know more make sure that you subscribe to this channel and always keep asking your questions in the comments also the fifth point that you really need to understand a myth that keeps going around is that you should risk uh, invest in risk free options there is no such thing as risk free option there are always some risks there are always terms and conditions it's upon you to make the right financial decisions if you've been listening to this episode or watching us till this point make sure that you're subscribed to the youtube channel of paycheck profit and are also following us on instagram i've started posting a lot of reels on instagram so that you can start understanding financial concepts like these in smaller videos and it becomes easier for you to consume such content make sure that you're following us both on instagram and youtube and also following us on the podcast application of your choice i hope this podcast episode has solved a lot of questions for you it has given you a lot of perspective you've now understood the whole myth and misselling behind concepts like risk free investing If you've liked this episode you will definitely love the first part of the series which is called time to demystify five myths about wealth and money part 1 you should definitely check that episode out you'll find the link to that episode in the show notes thank you so much for listening to this episode or watching this episode till the end i really appreciate your commitment towards learning and personal growth do support this channel and this episode by liking this if you're watching this on youtube one like shows this podcast episode to many 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 more people and if you're watching or if you're hearing us on the application of your choice give us five stars five hearts five mics depending on the user interface of the application please do support us and take these 10 15 seconds and help us by liking or giving us five stars on the application that you are consuming this episode on make sure that you subscribe to paycheck to profit channel on youtube just take 2 seconds and make sure that you are already subscribed if you are not so that you can keep getting more content from pitch to profit in the future do not forget to join the profit clan the clan literally feels incomplete without you and i cannot wait for you to start your financial freedom journey and pitch to profit will be delighted to be a part of your journey um uh, i appreciate your company i cannot wait to connect with you again in the next episode or a next podcast that i create or just a next video that i create for you Please take good care of yourselves. Keep going. Keep growing.